Look in the kitchen and finish today's eight minute meal with Margaret Marshall. You don't have to take take out to get delicious orange chicken. You can actually make a healthier version right at home. And it smells great. Roasted sesame oil okay. in it, but I also put garlic powder on mm. it. And you, you said you use thighs instead of breasts. I, um, chicken thighs, skinless. If you can buy them boneless, if you can't, I couldn't yesterday, so I cut them up myself. Oh, Just we cut appreciate them you doing that. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Just, but get the skin off as much as you can, okay. because okay. of course the skin is the unhealthy part right. of the chicken. So this is so simple. This is all browned. I'm just going to lower it just a little bit. Okay. And this okay. is how we make the sauce. Use orange marmalade. Now, what I like to use is the all fruit. Okay. Like the brand the all fruit. I don't mm -hmm. like the sugar free because then you taste the artificial sweeteners in it. Mm. And the all fruit is good. This is a little sweet. And what you do is you cut, you add. I use the low salt soy sauce. Right, because right, it's amazing when you look at some of the numbers on this stuff, too. Yes. Yeah, you gotta read the labels. Oh you gotta my read the goodness. labels. And like do you 500 know? 500 milligrams here. Yeah. You know? More than that for right. some things. And the American Health Association says we should have 2,000 milligrams a day of sodium. So all combined. And if you're eating um, processed food, or you're if you're that. using the salt shaker, two shakes of your salt shake and you've got it. That's so it. here I'm just uh, mixing up the soy sauce and the orange marmalade. Interesting. Make a little sauce out so of about, it. What is that, a cup of marmalade? And it depends how much chicken you're making, really. Okay. Use your judgment. This is about maybe a little over a half a cup. Mm -hmm. And then I just poured the, uh, the soy sauce in it. And we just pour that over the chicken, mm. which makes a sauce. And I'm going to have to share, huh? You got to share. I brought enough. So I brought good. enough. You like to share. So I'm going to turn this up just a little bit. Get it. Coat the chicken with it. Okay. And we're going to let it simmer. But we're going to add the green onions mm. into it. Again, nice. depending on if you're making chicken for a you know big pot of chicken, you'll okay. use more. Green onions always a major part of any kind of Asian recipe. Mm -hmm. I love green onions. I love the Me raw too. in a salad. Me too. Oh yeah, <gasps> delicious. And then I add broccoli. Again, you add as much as you want, depending on how many people you're feeding. You're selling me on this. Even I could <laughs> put this one together, I'm pretty sure. You know, you always want, when you're cooking for your family, you want to try and get them to eat vegetables mm -hmm. at every Healthy. meal. Sometimes they don't want to, but this will, oh, sorry. Oh, that's okay. This will taste sweet. Then you just cover it. And it's that lower easy? It. Yep. And what will happen, the broccoli will steam in there. Wow. So it's, you know, you just let it steam. The chicken is mostly all cooked, but you want it to get a little tender in the sauce. I cover it for maybe 10 minutes. I lower the temperature. I let it steam. I let it simmer. Wonderful. And then I take it off and just let it, just let it air. And voila, right away. And then you put it over brown rice. Oh, that's And as nice I said, idea. I always go and buy brown rice. I just like the way it tastes mm -hmm. from the Chinese restaurant better. And, and I put it over brown rice. Or the other day, a week or so ago, I made it and I put it over quinoa. Wonderful. Which was great. You put it over spinach. Sounds well, good. Well, we'll have this recipe on our website. And, and Margaret, quickly, what about your book? Oh, my We're books. Wrapping my it up. two babies here. Yeah. Body, <laughs> mind, and mouth. All okay. about the connection between your mind and your mouth and how it shows up in your body. And healthy living means living healthy. There's all different aspects of your life in there where you're faced with health challenges. Awesome. And there's a section in the book for everybody. All right. Wonderful. Appreciate it. Always Thank great you, Gil. You, you too. as well. Thank, Thank you, Joss. We'll be right back. Joss, I'll share. Okay.